Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the Drummond Channel. Uh, it is Thursday morning on June 1st, and this will be uh, updates on crude oil and the silver market. And what a difference a, uh, a couple of days makes uh, looking at a monthly chart now. Uh, we did not did not get the upward movement that I was anticipating, and, and I think the idea that we're going to get up here to the quarterly PL dot or a monthly envelope top, uh, that the case for that is, is, is waning. Uh, you can see that this is monthly nearby resistance and it's moved all the way down to the monthly PL dot. And you can see the monthly PL dots are still sloping downward. Uh, so the pressure is still down on this market. And if this area does not hold, the next target is down here at the uh, yearly PL dot. Uh, same thing here in the middle on the weekly chart. Uh, this area, we, we did highlight that as, as, as potential support and it, it, it may be holding, but uh, the upward trend, I think, is going to be limited by that uh, higher time period resistance area. On the daily chart, you can see the nearby holding, or I'm sorry, the farther out support holding than the nearby holding. So on the daily chart, we have an exhaust pattern, and that may take us all the way up here to the daily PL dot. But I think that is the upper end of this move uh, for the time being. And one thing you can look at, these farther out support, resistance areas on the daily chart. See how they're pushing down, pushing down, uh, pushing down. So there's a lot of resistance up in this area. You have the monthly and weekly PL dots, weekly envelope top, all that stuff right in this area between uh, 72 and 74. Uh, so the, the, upward, uh, the upward potential in this market I think is limited to there and uh, again the down on the downside uh, we're looking at this area, which is the uh, yearly PL dot. So that's it for crude. If we have some major changes, I'll update this, but uh, we'll probably revisit this on Monday. On the silver chart, pretty straightforward. Uh, this area I thought was going to provide some support, did not hold, and, and now that it's broken, it becomes resistance. So on the monthly basis, we're down below the uh, uh, the yearly PL dot, we're down below the quarterly envelope top, and the monthly PL dot. And targets on the monthly now become the monthly envelope bottom or a little bit lower on the quarterly PL dot. Uh, on the on the day, I'm sorry, on the weekly chart, uh, we were looking for a PL dot refresh and we're in that area between, this is the static dot and the live dot. And that's where we're hanging out right now. So expecting the market to stall in this area and start pushing down uh, towards these two target areas down here. And you can further see this playing out on the daily chart. Uh, this rectangle is two to three dots back. So to refresh our memory, this is a congestion entrance bar. And we tend to find support or resistance two to three dots back. And that's where we are. And then, of course, we have the um, monthly and weekly PL dots just above that. So I think silver's uh, upward progress is limited to about, um, is that about, about 24, 2450 on the high side and potentially down here, uh, quarterly PL dot, monthly envelope bottom. And so again, if, if this changes drastically in the next day or two, I'll update that, but uh, we'll probably look at this again on Monday. Uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll talk to you next time.